Hi, Sarah. It's your old pal Ryan from Colorado. First time caller, long time fan. Um, I guess my question has to do with self worth. I'm a 35 year old gay man, and uh, I came from a really small town, so that dented a lot of my confidence as a gay man. Um, and then when I went into the dating world, I've kind of always struggled with my weight, and I have a, you know, I don't know if you can tell, but I kind of have a high voice. <laughs> and um, I guess for a lot of gay men, that's a turnoff. And so I've just had issues a lot with getting dates. And my, I'll always like talk to my therapist and I'll say to my friends, is it me? And I'll always get back, no, you have a great personality. You just got to find the right person. Um, but I literally had to delete some of my dating profiles because I was tired of guys messaging me telling me that I was ugly. You know, so now I only do the apps where you have to match with them. And it, I guess all that has just led to a lot of self-worth issues. And so my question is, how do you pull self-worth for yourself when it's kind of been beaten out of you? <laughs> um, and, I, you know, I have a chosen family and they're very supportive and that's all very great. But I find myself like not wanting to put myself out there anymore because of this. And so I guess how do I build myself back up? And when I put myself back out there, how do I not? let them get to me until I find that right one. Thanks so much. Love you. You know, first of all, you have a gorgeous voice. Anyone who thinks otherwise can take it up with me. Um, it, it, it's it's going to all have to come from in within you. Confidence. This is something that you must work on. You know, it's it's exactly what RuPaul says at the end of every drag race. If you don't if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you gonna love anybody else? Well, it's also really about being loved. You're not gonna feel it or see it if you don't feel it or see it. You have to love yourself. You sound like a fantastic person. You have a chosen family, so you, there are people that you know that love you, that choose to love and adore you. You have to do that for yourself. You have to love yourself. You have to accept yourself. If you weren't you, if you could step outside of yourself and see yourself, you would be kinder to yourself. And so maybe that's an exercise to do. There's probably something smarter to do. I'm pulling this out of my ass. But when you, you know, sometimes I'm totally lost and I don't know what to do. And I go, well, what would I say if, if, if someone called in with my problem into my podcast, what would I tell them? And there's something about making it objective like taking yourself out of something where you can see a little clearer you know like for instance I give good advice but I you know it doesn't mean I'm not a mess in my life this is a very common thing you know the the the, the cobbler's son has no shoes so um figure out how to love and accept yourself entirely. You certainly probably do that with your friends and the people that you love. You deserve the same. It's it's really all about, and this is gonna be woo-woo granola stuff, but it really is true. We have this inner child inside of us. We all have the little hurt versions of ourselves inside. That's what gets triggered. That's like, if it's hysterical, it's historical, you know, like, gee, maybe I'm reacting to something that feels similar to this feeling from my childhood and it isn't that I'm, you know, losing my shit because you ate one of my Flaming Hot Cheetos. You know, it's they say if it's hysterical, it's historical. Figure out those historical triggers and accept that little kid that is you for everything he is. Love him to pieces. And when you get good at that, you're going to find love. You're not ready yet. You don't, you don't have your back enough. And it's not about being conceited or being a dick or being, you know, um, uh, 
full of yourself. When you are okay with yourself and you accept yourself exactly as you are, and if if you don't, you know, if there are things you want to change about your, be the person you dream of being. Raise yourself. Be the parent you should have had for yourself. And um, once you've really mastered that, you're not going to believe how much space you have for others. And that's attractive. Boy, don't you know, don't, can't you relate that confidence is so attractive? And you can't fake it. It has to be real. And what it comes from is realizing none of us are perfect. We're all gorgeously flawed. And instead of falling to pieces because you fucked up or you're flawed or you, this or that, accept yourself the way you accept any asshole on the street. It's so hard for us with ourselves. But get good at it. Get great at it. You're not going to believe how much space you have for others and how all these things you seek are just going to happen. I feel like I'm selling miracle water right now, but I it, there's a reason that these things will happen for you. You'll be in a place where you're ready for it. So good luck and call back and when you have something to call back about and let me know how it goes. Yeah.